Well, Marnie, there are more than 30 mobile homes here at the Furwood Lane Mobile Home Park, and we're told that developers are planning to build high-end homes here in a price range those who already live here say they wouldn't be able to afford. Now, residents say they've been given one year to move out, and many tell me that when they do, they won't have a place to go. Inside the Furwood Lane Mobile Home Park in Kirkland, Ryu Bataya and her family hope to lay down roots. I have three kids and I have my brother-in-law. He lives with, with us. It's two more boys, two more kids and my brother-in-law. We are eight people here. After renting for years, Bataya purchased their mobile home in February. Her version of the American dream had become a reality, but not for long. So you already paid for this? Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. And a few days later, you found out. You have to know. Yeah. Just days after buying her home, Bataya says she and her neighbors received this notice that the mobile home park had sold and everyone would be forced to move, including U.S. Air Force veteran Ronald Brown, who has called the park home for more than a decade. I thought this would be the last place I'd ever live, but I guess it ain't going to be. Brown and others say they knew the park was for sale but didn't believe it would be redeveloped. They even received a notice back in 2013 stating, quote, our intent is to try and sell to another mobile home park operator. Listing agent Lee White says he personally tried to sell it to another mobile home park, but after years of trying, finally sold to a developer. I'm not happy about it. I'm really not. I mean, I just, I mean, we were, we were always told that, you know, even my father was told when he built it. When he, when he came down and purchased the place down here, that it would never be built on. Longtime resident Victor Smith believes the sale is a broken promise, but Taya calls it a broken dream. Now, the listing agent also shared with me today he believes that the residents here were given ample notice about the sale as well as the property owner's intentions. But another frustration that people here have shared with me is that back in September of 2013, they say they were given a notice really encouraging them to fix up their mobile homes. Many say they did so, spending hundreds, even thousands of dollars only for things to end like this. We're live from Kirkland tonight. Janet Kim, Q13 Fox News.